Hello everybody, this is the Gaming Turtle, and today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4, and you already know how I'm playing, it's my favorite country, the Republic of Peru. Not going to be a republic for very much longer, is it? <clears throat> and I just want to apologize before we get going for my scratchy throat, I was just yelling at my wife for undercooking the chicken. Um, but don't worry about that, we're, we're focusing on playing Hearts of Iron right now. And start, let's go, let's do this. We're gonna conquer the world. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's a little scratchy. Maybe if this game loaded a little faster, we'd be in the game already. There we go. Playing uh, the Road to 56 mod, of course, just makes everything better. Alright, let's get to researching some stuff. We want to get all of this infantry things. Motorized, who cares about that? We want better artillery. That's what we want. Air? You know, you know we gotta do it. We gotta rush close air support. But it looks like we already got that research. So let's move on to industry. Let's get that going. Military factories? You know we gotta have them. Make make a couple of those, or make just one of those for right now. We don't need too many. <clears throat> All right, and you know which you know which way we're going, not the way of democracy. We're going towards fascism. You know, you know it. All right, let's just speed up the game and let's get going. How's the military factories doing? We got two, only two, at least. What we're making fighters. I guess we'll let, we'll make 70 of those to fill out our air division first, but then we gotta make close air support. Kill all the commies. You know what we gotta do? We gotta, <clears throat> we gotta reunite Peru and Bolivia. Two distant brothers to be reunited again under the flag of one nation. We already got some dive bombers, some medium bombers. We don't got to worry about that for too much longer. We'll be making some more soon. Remilitization of the Rhineland. Who cares about that? We're in Peru, baby. <clears throat> I take you in Paraguay. Oh boy, what's going on there? Oh, it doesn't matter. We've elected a king. Hmm, I think we're gonna go on the path of which one is the most is fascist. Let's take a look. We're gonna invite Carlos. That's what we're gonna do. You know, Carlos is a great guy. I knew him in the uh, in the army or something. Oh yeah, I also got the uh, <clears throat> mod that lowers the uh, experiencing to make divisions, just to make that a little easier. Cause you know that's always a pain to do. And who needs it anyway? By the time you're making new divisions, you got a million million military experience. Yes, construction speed, please. That's what we want in this great nation. Spanish Civil War, doesn't matter. We're in South America. Military staff. We're going, obviously, army offensive. No need to be on the defense when you're always attacking, right? Boy, we got our we got all of our things researched. Let's continue researching some industry. Then we're gonna go for electronics. We gotta get that radio early so we can have the edge on the enemy. You know what I'm saying? All right. <clears throat> Don't need to worry about armor yet. We're not we're not at that point where we need that. Well, let's start to work on trucks. We're gonna want those soon. <clears throat> now, what do we wanna go next? 
think we should do field anti. Actually, no. You know what? Let's go through. Let's go for flamethrower. All right. Let's convince supporters of Flores to join us. Updated equipment production. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's make some new guns. For our glorious nation. I'll elect some new officials. I'll wait until we can get a political advisor. Because we're going to want some of those soon. Oh, we got our military factory done. Let's go. I'm going to make some more guns. We could always use more of those. Let's build another military factory. Alright, national focus. Where, where are we going to go next? Let's look to the past. Look at the glory of the past Peru for inspiration. Not let any dissenters survive. We will push on for the glory of Peru. Like the general, let's do that. Field marshal, let's also do that. You know, can't have, can't be too prepared. Mountaineer, we're gonna want that here in the Andes, Andes Mountains. I thought I was gonna say something else, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't. All right, let's continue down this path. Let's. Organized marches in the north. That sounds good. <clears throat> Recent immigrant influx. Great. We're going to have plenty of new recruits for our army. Epic Games don't care. Alright, let's support the Catholic churches. Never a bad thing to have religion on our side, have God on our side to smite the heretics. I'm gonna go for offensive doctrine. Never can go bad there. Offensive assaulter, aggressive assaulter, something or other. I forgot. Alright, we're gonna want sniper team soft attack plus 30%. That's insane. Political advisors still can't get my fascist demagogue, so I don't care. What do I need? Legacy of someone, someone else. All right. Well, I guess I'll do some more things before then. Uh, we're gonna go with superior firepower doctrine. Never go around with having more guns than the enemy. Start researching support equipment. That's always useful. You know, I'm struggling to figure out what I should go here. Navy ain't really that important in this game unless you're Japan or something. But I'm not Japan. I'm Peru. And I don't need a Navy. Alright, we got enough fighters. Start making dive bombers. We want to bomb out the enemy. Vicious Agrarian. Let's go with that guy. He sounds great. Justification for war. What is this? I don't know. Social order. We, we got a melting pot. That's what we got here in Peru. Peru welcomes all except the enemy. All right, let's take over the government for Greater Peru. What's this guy need? Seven towed art artillery? No oh boy. I don't know if I can make that, even though I can. Oh, I can make that now. 
Let's make that. We're kind of running low on steel. I think a new steel mill is way overdue. Legal status of women. Um. Oh, we're in a civil war now. All right. Well, militarize the homeland. Take back the nation for the sake of our brothers and our fathers and our families or something, something like that. I don't know. I, I failed history class. But let's go. Let's go to war. We will win this. See, we are winning this. Beijing has fallen. Don't matter to me. Military high command, army logistics. Can't have enough supplies, can you? Have too many supplies, that's what I mean. Boy, is this, is this industry? I don't even know. Uh, where's the industry? I must have been it. I don't care. Oh, wait. Here it is. Here's something. I don't care. Form the Royal Guide of Peru. That would be useful. We could use that. You know, thinking about it, I might want to send out the Navy. They might have a Navy of their own. Can't be too safe. Don't want a naval invasion on our hands, do we? Slowly but surely, we are pushing them back. We will win this. Climate specific equipment. Ah, jungle infantry. That's what we want. We are going to be in the jungle soon. And we don't want to be unprepared. Unprepared and in the jungle leads to death. That's what my father always told me. Oh, come on. Right as we were about to march in there. Infantry expert. Oh, yeah, we got that. We got the air command, air superiority and close air support, baby. We will win this. There's literally no way we can lose anymore. For the glory of the new Peru. I can't read what this, it's actually called. It's something though. I know that. New trait, let's go with infantry experts since we are all infantry. I add our new units to the army. Can't go wrong with a few extra units, can you? Nope. See, we are pushing forward. We are winning this war. We gotta do is take back Peru. We gotta unite Peru with Bolivia. <clears throat> that is what is next for us. Arms to the people doesn't sound like a bad idea. New research. We got radios. That'll give us a huge boost on the battlefield. Start building a radar station. 40 days. Uh. They keep destroying our gosh dang infantry infrastructure infrastructure what is it called infrastructure yeah what are they gonna do without that 
Most of their troops have been cut off. We're winning this one, boys. Oh. We're, okay. We're winning this one, boys. Hindenburg disaster doesn't matter. It's just six company that is one we're going to want. Can't have enough supplies. That's what I always say. If taking more of their troops, they can't possibly hold out much longer. That is, um, being, um, one in the south. We're gonna enable partial mobilization. We will win this war, my men. We will not lose. Oh boy. Stay focused. How many supplies do they got there? I don't care about the news. Oh my gosh. Keep focusing on industry. You gotta be able to pump out those guns as fast as possible. Hispanism. That means something. Something I want. And that is the world. The world is what I want. Some of our planes, attacks, and light cruisers. Or maybe the other way around. I don't know. I don't quite know. We got some more factories. That's always great. Hispanism. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know, but let's start focusing on industry. Plan Lima's expansion. We gotta do that. We gotta expand the country. Political actions. something there probably eventually that I'll want capital is about is gonna fall soon and once that happens I have no force but to give up mine more minerals mine all the resources we have access to they've given up we've won all right now on to bigger uh, cojones. <laughs> now to move on to the next threat. The um, Bolivian government or something. As we all know, this is their fault. Viva el Rey. That's how you say that, hopefully. Ukraine capitulated. What? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. You know, I think we should make some more planes. Something can go wrong with more planes, right? Alright, reclaim Bolivia. This is what we came here boy for, boys. 
this is what we came here for. Infantry division. Let's expand that. We want more of that. Sog submits to Italy. I don't know who that is. Don't matter to me. Let's get some artillery in here. We want to blow their socks off with bombs. A recon company, we want some of those. Can't, can't, nothing can go wrong if we know the enemy's plan. Alright, it's time for war with Bolivia. Bolivia will be ours. Alright, let's get those supplies running. All my troops moving down there. Factories are ready. We still need more steel, so build another steel mill. And then build another military factory or something. That won't go wrong. That's what we need. Italian guns. Oh baby. Expand the national arsenal. Right, let's train some more infantry. Three units, that'll be good. Six of those total. We're gonna push deep into Bolivia. Take claim states is what we are going to do. Now let's take back our homeland and you reunite the oppressed Bolivians for the glory of our nation and theirs. Glory of our nation. <laughs> the capital's been taken already. We are we are winning already. Nothing can go wrong now. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Uh oh. Seems like World War II started a little early. Not to worry. We are in South America. Expand the national arsenal. Just what we needed. We do not have enough resources to do anything though. So we're just going to have to sit on that for a little minute. For a small, for a short minute, maybe make some tanks. Can't can't go wrong with having no, a couple of those in the uh, in the stockpile, just in case we need them. You know what I'm saying? We encircled some of their troops. Going good. Things are going good. All right, mobile defense. That's what we want. Alright, moving to Santa Cruz de la Sierra. I hope I'm saying these things right, because I have no idea. Oops, paused. Alright, we're about to take their capital for the second time. Oh, what happened? Ah, uh, they're fighting back. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to push a massive offensive through the, uh, through the south. Gotta break their, break their defenses from the other way.
Play Italian military mission? Sure, let's do that. Keep moving, my man. We're al we've almost reached their capital. Victory is within sight. Pests have to push a little further. Alright, and they've capitulated, baby. Let's go. This is what we came here for. We've reunited our beautiful country. And... We've... We've won. We've won against the Western Imperialists. <laughs> well, we'll have to continue this in the next one when we go after the bigger states. But until then, I'll, I'll see you next time.